What's going on growers? It's James Prigioni coming to you live from Jersey. Not all raspberries are the same, both in flavor and the way you should prune them. I want to show you today how to prune raspberries to get huge harvests like us. Let's go! When it comes to raspberries and even blackberries, the proper pruning technique can make the difference between a small harvest and a large harvest. So today I'm going to go through some of those methods that can increase your harvest, but at the end of the video, I'm also going to show you a simplified version of how you can prune any blackberries or raspberries. Let me take you over to the black cap ones, the black raspberries, that's where we'll start. Right here we've got black cap raspberries, and as you can see, we're going to get a great harvest. And the reason for that is because of the way we pruned it. Let me take you in close, tell you a few things about the plant and how to prune it just like this. The first thing to note is both black and purple raspberries fruit on second year canes. Right here, we've got a first year cane. This shot up early in the spring, and now we're gonna come and prune this at about two to four feet. The reason we wanna do this is because when we cut it here, we're encouraged all the lateral growth. On that lateral growth is where the fruit's gonna be. Like we just said, these black cap raspberries fruit on second year canes. Last year, I cut this at about two to four feet, as you can see right there. That encouraged all this lateral growth. That's where the fruit is. Now we've got a lot of ripe black cap raspberries. There's nothing like fresh ripe berries. Behind me here, you can see a sea of black cap raspberries. It's a little too dense, but as you saw, we're getting a huge harvest. I'm gonna go through now and just show you how I prune them to reestablish again how to do it. Right now is actually a good time to prune these, because like I mentioned, two to four feet is where we want it. I'm a little over six feet, so I can just kind of measure that up with me. Here's about three feet, I'll go a little lower. We'll prune that there. I'll just continue to come and prune all of them at that height to encourage all those lateral growth. But then, all the ones that have fruited already, I'll make sure I cut those down because after they've fruited once, they'll never fruit again. That was black and purple raspberries. Now, let's move over to everbearing raspberries next. When it comes to everbearing, also called fall bearing raspberries, you can either get two harvests or one large fall one. And the way you prune them is gonna determine this. Let me take you into a section where we prune them to get actually two harvests. You're probably thinking, why wouldn't you always want two harvests? Well, the reason is if you just go for a fall harvest, then that's usually a bigger harvest and higher quality. So I plant summer bearing raspberries, and then I also plant fall bearing ones. So usually I tend to go for just the fall one. Here though, we went ever bearing, and right here, let me take it close. Right here, we have a yellow and raspberry, and this could either be fall bearing or ever bearing. We decided to allow it to go ever bearing. When you want it to go ever bearing, all you do is cut out the old flora canes that have fruited twice. You'll notice this because of the brown stem and they'll be fruiting on the lower section. So this two-year-old cane here has fruited twice. Next to it, we have a one-year-old cane. In the fall, this one-year-old cane will fruit at the top and give us a nice fall harvest. We could either decide to leave that and get a second year harvest in the summer like this, or we can cut it down to the ground and just get one big fall harvest. Back in this section, we've got the same kind of raspberries. They could either be fall or ever bearing, and we decide to just go for a large fall harvest. The way we did this is late in the season, after they'll put out the one set of fruit in the fall, we'll come and we'll just cut them all the way down to the ground, as low as you can, flush at the ground level. The best time to do this is usually in winter, midwinter. Two things to note, if you're gonna go for fall bearing raspberries, like I did here, you wanna make sure you cut them low at the base when you dormant prune. You don't want them sticking up and having side shoots coming up, those will be weak plants. You wanna cut them as low to the ground as you can. Next up, we've got summer bearing raspberries. I actually don't have a lot of those planted because I've got all the black cap ones. Those fruit for me in the summer. But I'm gonna take you over to blackberries because the way you prune them is basically the same way you're gonna prune your summer bearing raspberries. This year, we're getting bigger berry harvest than we ever have. And I truly attribute a lot of that to using the right pruning techniques. If you're finding value in this video and you wanna see more of them, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so when we upload these and other videos, you can follow along for it. Let's look at this blackberry though, and I'll show you how to get harvest just like this. Blackberries, like summer bearing raspberries, fruit on second year canes. This right here is a second year cane. Similar to our black raspberries though, you'll notice a lot of the fruit is on the laterals. Behind me here, we've got a one year old cane. This just shot up this year. It's not gonna have fruit this year, but it will next year. When it comes to blackberries and also the summer bearing raspberries, they can tend to get really tall, the one year old canes. So what I like to do is cut them at about four to five feet. Blackberries you could allow to get a little taller, but I cut them about four to five feet so they're just not getting too cold and too crazy. This again encourages that lateral growth, makes it nice and strong and gives me more fruit. You'll notice this cane right here, it's a second year cane. It's loaded with fruit. I'll pull it up. Last summer, I cut it at about five, almost six feet. You'll see, 
it shot out those laterals and they were nice and strong. They've got a lot of fruit on them. What I could have done though is shorten these laterals just a little bit more and that could have strengthened them even more. Now that I've showed you the different types and how to prune them, let's just go through a quick little shortened version of what I talked about. First, we did the black half raspberries. When it comes to those, they fruit on second year canes. We wanna come out in the summer and prune them at about two to four feet. And after they fr fruited once, they'll never fruit again. Next, we did the fall bearing or ever bearing ones. There's two different methods of doing that. You can get fruit twice or you can get it once. That's important to know. Third, we pruned our summer bearing raspberries and our blackberries the same way. Like I mentioned though, there's a way we could just simply prune all of them the same. And you could do that because all actually fruit on second year canes. Because they fruit on second year canes, if you're not sure what kind of raspberries you have, you could go out and prune your raspberries the first year growth at about four to five feet and they'll all fruit on the second year cane. The only harvest you'll really miss out on is if they're everbearing ones. You'll miss that actual late fall harvest because you cut them down. You'll still get the following year, the summer one though. If you're unsure of what variety they are and you go with what I said and prune at about four to five feet, you'll only miss out if you had everbearing ones. But this way you'll be able to identify the following year exactly what kind of raspberries they are so you could use the correct pruning method in the future. This way you can get max harvest. That's today's video growers. Thanks for watching. When it comes to pruning, I know a lot of you often get overwhelmed by it. You don't wanna make a mistake, but we're dealing with perennials. If you do want to make one, that's okay. It'll grow back next year. It's all a learning process. The more you do, the better you get. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, share this one with your friends, and don't forget to check us out on Steam. It. James Prigioni is out.